Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy. A lot of us like to customize our smartphones and our Android powered tablets by putting on a custom launcher. Some like putting on a custom ROM. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of both, specifically Cyanogen Mod 9 and the Trebuchet custom launcher that comes with it. Let's go take a look. This is Trebuchet. It looks an awful lot like the default launcher that comes with Ice Cream Sandwich, but it's not. Sure, it's based on it, but there are a lot of changes. This is actually modified by Cyanogen Mod, Steve Kondik himself. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can do. Well, just like you'd expect, we can go back and forth, just like that. Because I always get asked this, the wallpaper in the back is called Beautiful Live Weather or Beautiful Weather, something like that, from uh, Level Up Studio. I like it quite a bit. It shows live weather. Now I've answered that and we can move on. Let's go ahead and look at some of the things that we can do with Trebuchet. Now again, this comes stock with Cyanogen Mod 9 and all of it is changed right here through the launcher in the settings. So let's go into launcher. We have three different sections and an about. The about says that this is simply copy my, copyright Cyanogen Mod 2012. Let's go to the uh, interface part of the home screen. We can set the number of home screens. You saw that I had mine set to three. I can easily set that to two, to one, even all the way up as much as seven. I kind of like three because it does what I need it to do. Let's go ahead and leave it there. The default screen, I can make this be any one of those. Right now I've got it two because it's halfway between one and three, but I can change it to one. I can change it to go the other way to three. And if I have more screens, of course, I can set it in there as well. Cancel that. Let's go to grid size. This is kind of interesting. It lets you choose the number of rows and columns that you have on your home screen. The stock is four by four. You can bump that up to five, six, if I can push the right button here, or even seven by seven. So you're kind of cramming everything really tightly together. I'm gonna to stick with four by four, but you could easily see what you could do with putting more stuff on your screens. Vertical padding. This is the padding that you have around the home screen. You've got it broken up into both vertical and horizontal. You can increase this. Right now I've got it set to zero. You can bump that up to 10. We'll go ahead and say, okay, I'll show you what that did. In fact, let's go ahead and bump our grid size to five by five, just so you can get a, a look at that. Horizontal padding will leave it zero. We'll go back home. Now, you'll notice that it automatically relaunches the launcher for you, which does take a little bit of time, especially if you're doing a lot of major changes. Now, you can see right in here, I've got room for another row and another column of icons, so I can just essentially put more stuff on there. You can also see where my padding is, my horizontal and vertical. Kind of cool. Let's go back into settings. All right, in launcher again. Search bar, if, you, if we want to have a persistent search bar, we can do that, and now we'll have a search bar in every screen. I don't want to, even though it's stock ice cream sandwich to do that, we'll turn that off simply by unchecking that box. The ability to resize any widget is something that a lot of the more high-end, back in the day, the high-end launcher replacements would have. Today, almost every launcher replacement has this, but you can then normally uh, just set any widget to be able to re resize. Now when I say any, that means most, not any, but you get the idea. Uh, some of the newer widgets are resizable. This setting is for those that aren't resizable. You can now force them to be able to be resized, unless you can't. And if that's not confusing enough for you, I don't know how I could make it any more so. Hide icon labels. If you know what those icons mean, you don't have to have the word underneath. Save a little bit of clutter and some space on the screen simply by hiding them. Check or uncheck that box. Next, we've got scrolling. The transition effect, this is what happens when you move between home panels on the home screen. You can go from the tablet style, zoom in, zoom out, rotate up, rotate down, cube in, cube out, or stack. I like rotate down. You can play with all of these and see what they do. Essentially, they're relatively self-explanatory, but you want to play around with them a little bit and find out which one you like best. Fade side pages. 
if you want to, when you're scrolling back and forth, you can have the edge of the page that you're just going to or leaving kind of fade out and fade in as you're moving side to side. That takes a little bit more processing power. It's something that I really don't need because I have the nice transition effect, so I go ahead and uncheck that. Scroll wallpaper, we can either have our, our wallpaper fixed in one place and have our screens kind of move in front of it, or we can scroll it. I like scrolling, that's the default, so that's what I've left checked. Show page indicator. Down at the bottom, you can have an indicator to show you kind of what page you're on. If you've got quite a few pages, it's very helpful to know where you are, specifically if you're on you know, the left side or the right side. You can also then fade that indicator after the home screen is changed if you don't want it there persistently and taking up space. And if you want to, you can have a divider sitting between your dock buttons and the rest of the screen. So I'll go ahead and turn that on and show you where that sits. Again, reloading the launcher, there's that dock divider, just kind of a subtle line to help you realize that this is your dock and everything else is above that. Let's go ahead and look at some more settings. Back in Launcher, we've gone through essentially everything on the home screen, so let's move on to the drawer. A lot of these settings are the same. Number one, <clears throat> we've got the transition effect and the fade side pages. They do exactly the same thing that they do on the home pages, so I'm not going to go back over those. But know that you can have different and independent settings in your drawer versus on your home screen. You can also show the page indicator and fade the indicator just like on the home screens as well. So really the only difference here is the ability to join the widgets with the apps, which is the default behavior of Ice Cream Sandwich's uh, stock launcher. If you don't like that, simply uncheck it, just like that. And then all you're going to have to do to get to the widgets is tap on the widgets button. You've got apps and widgets over there. Uh, you know what, let me show you that. So we'll wait for it to reload. We'll open the drawer. Normally I'd be able to scroll across as soon as this gets loaded in. Again, it had to reload the launcher. The app drawer is part of that. So we'll just go across. Now normally I'm at the end of my apps. You can see my page indicator down there. I'd be able to just swipe over and get into widgets. Now I cannot. I have to tap onto the widgets tab where I can then do that. And again you can see the page indicator at the bottom so you know where I am. All right, let's go back into settings and see what else we have. Of course, my ROM manager is going to fail on us in the middle of a video. Need to talk with Koosh about that. And last but not least, we have auto-rotate. Auto-rotate means, well, can the screen rotate? So let me show you that. Here I am sitting at my home screen. Again, I didn't make any changes, but it reloaded the launcher. That's just something that you've got to kind of get used to. Even if you're looking at settings, it'll relaunch when you come out. The only other option to that is to make you manually restart your launcher, which I don't like doing. But auto-rotate means you can, well, auto-rotate your home screen. You can auto-rotate other screens, and it's really nice and it's really cool, but the home screen is something that doesn't usually get auto-rotated. It, it just stays in your, uh, your portrait orientation. Well, if you have your phone in a dock an awful lot of the time like I do, it's nice to have it where you can rotate it. But if you accidentally you know, get it a little bit too far over to one side, it might rotate and, ah, oh, man, now i got to wait for it to rotate back. So something to keep in mind. So that is the launcher that comes with Cyanogen Mod 9. Again, it is trebuchet, and I believe that uh, the plan is to have this available for other people to download, not just Cyanogen Mod 9 users. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's one of my most favorite launchers. It's not terribly over the top. It does everything you'd expect it to do, and not an awful lot more stuff that's confusing or time-consuming or fluff that just gets in the way that you really don't need. I like it quite a bit. I use it as my daily driver. I think you should too. Again, Trebuchet Launcher by Cyanogen Mod. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and head on over to pocketnow.com so you can leave comments and questions about this video over on the article over there. That's where we're going to carry out all of our discussions. Thanks for watching.